The hostile work environment is about to get really hostile because what people have found out during this pandemic, or should I say companies, CEOs, and business owners is they don't need you. And this pandemic is going to usher in the greatest era of AI and automation that we've ever seen. We already have Google Brain, we already have so many things, and this stuff is about to be on steroids. For the longest of time, the human being was the center of the universe. And let's look at the product of the human being. We're born, it takes many, many years for us to become functional, for us to contribute to the economy. We're talking roughly 18, almost two decades. Whereas you have a piece of AI or automation which can be created in a matter of weeks and can be implemented into a system and start making money in a matter of weeks. The comparison is crazy. What we're going to have is an unparalleled era of automation, AI, and the implementation of tech. Because in my other video where I talked about they were starting to lay off people who were making 100K, that wasn't due to the coronavirus. The coronavirus exposed that those people because the way it's going, you gotta produce. I don't care who you are, I don't care what you do, you have to produce. And this is where we're going because if you're not producing, if you're not a creator, if you're not a producer, you're not a business owner, you're going to the badlands. And this is what's happening. Right now, we have a lot of people who are buying houses because they see the writing on the wall. They're like, I don't wanna be up in an apartment. I'm working from home. I need more space. I need a backyard. These folks understand that they need to get while the getting is good. Because during this new era of automation, you're gonna see an erosion of jobs. And I mean, it is like nothing you've ever seen before. Let's go ahead and look at what has happened. First of all, many businesses have closed down. And during the Great Recession, we had 1.8 businesses closed down over a period of years. We're literally gonna see seven to 12 million businesses close in a matter of months. And what's happening is business owners are searching for solutions. Business owners are searching for replacements because since we've had the coronavirus that's in the books, more than likely this will happen again in the future. And people are like, how can I prepare myself? How can I protect myself? How can I set something up where this isn't a big issue? And we go to automation and tech and robotics. You're going to see such a heavy investment in automation and tech and robotics. It's going to make your head, swim, your, your head spin around on your neck because this is going to drastically increase the erasure of certain jobs. Let's talk about me. I have a staff of four people and what we're able to do because of tech is amazing. If we were to go back 15 years when you needed an editor, you needed a guy to shoot the camera, I would probably have a company of 25 to 30 people to do what a company of four or five, including me does. This is the power of tech and automation. And you know, for the business owner, and once again, I advise you to become a business owner. I know that just like, hey, I just want to work a job so I can be off on the weekends. I can chill with big booty Betty, sexy slim Susan, and do all that other stuff. All right, do so at your pearl. Because I'm here to tell you 
that the winners in the future will be the creators, the producers, the business owners, the entrepreneurs. We're going to go through another classification strata. We're going to have so many people who are going to be unemployed because they don't have any viable skills. They have no skills. And also we're going to, you know, cause I was figuring that self-driving cars and self-driving trucks was, you know, many, many years away, about 20 years away. I, I will correct that. I think that they're going to cut that time in half. We're going to see self-driving trucks. We're going to see self-driving cars. We already have it with Tesla. Tesla has autopilot, but sometimes it's not the best because people will fall asleep in the Tesla and they end up dead. But I feel that they're going to work really hard to work out the kinks and the first casualty will be truck drivers. I predicted this many years ago and due to the fact that they were having so many self-driving trucks and they were literally crashing and killing people that that's put it off. But I feel that just like with the coronavirus, just like these states opening up, we're going to deal with it. We're going to deal with the deaths. We're going to deal with it. And they're going to get to implement this technology because there's like three to 4 million truck drivers in the country. And if you can go ahead and get a self-driving truck that drives consistently at 55 miles per hour and doesn't have to take breaks, your truck can literally run 24 hours a day increase fuel costs, increase fuel savings, and you don't have a organic carbon-based life form in that truck. It doesn't take days off, doesn't need vacation. So let's say for each self-driving truck, it costs $30,000 to install that hardware. That's what you would pay a first year truck driver, 30 to $40,000. And let's say this hardware lasts 10 years. So you have a sunk cost of $30,000 that is like $3,000 a year. Can you see the cost savings? This is why this stuff is going to be pushed in because one of the things that we've learned from the pandemic is we got to do what we got to do. The states are not going to close again. I don't care if the deaths quadruple. They're not because we have seen what has happened and the economic damage to the economy is going to go on for probably a decade. Literally three months of closure can result in a decade of reduced growth or a decade of reduced income and many, many problems. Like I told you guys the other day, the stock market is going to crash two or three more times this year. So if you want to get in the stock market, don't be in a hurry. Don't worry. You've got time, but back to automation and tech. You're going to see so many jobs disappear because right now, after the punch that the business community got from the closures and stuff, there have been people who like, I haven't stopped working during this coronavirus. I've not chilled. I haven't stopped. I've been working virtually most days, six days a week. And many business owners have been working seven days a week trying to find solutions to replace you. You're, you're going to be cut out of the matrix. You're going to be cut like what's going on with these six figure jobs. Corporate America has become, it, it, it hasn't become, it has always been ruthless. Corporate America has always been cutthroat. If we can get rid of 10,000 people and improve the balance sheet, that's what we're going to do. And this is going to be something that's going to dramatically improve the balance sheet. It is going, you know, I, this is my call to arms for the economic war. You got to participate in the economic war or you're going to get left behind. There is no middle ground. You know, there, there will be because I know what about the people working in the factories to fix the robots that'll be available but it's going to be small. Remember that scene from Minority Report when Tom Cruise was running through this automobile factory and there were literally no humans. And once we get to the point where the automation can fix itself, self-diagnose itself, literally you're going to have a plant 
that's going to be making four or five hundred cars a day that's literally going to have a crew of 30 to 50 people. The same plant right now that has like 10,000 workers is going to be reduced at some point in the future to 30 to 50 people and automation and tech is literally going to take over. And you can become an entrepreneur, become a business owner, and become the employer of the tech and automation, or you can be an employee and one day wake up and find out that your job was replaced by a robot. That, that's your choice. I'm, I'm here to tell you, and I'm, not, I'm telling you this years in advance because you know during this pandemic, the corona, people are working on this stuff and it's still gonna take some time. So the time for you right now, America, is to get out of debt so you will have some bullets to participate in this economic war. Once again, let me be very clear. You will have no choice. Right now, you have a cozy job, you know, you're living your life, you got a nice little house. And like I said, the first casualty of this will be once they get these things with these truck driving, it's gonna be on and popping. You know, I've seen uh, many trucking videos where people are talking about trying to get a higher rate. And that's the little dance that happens between truckers and shippers. That's about to go away. I'm gonna give it 10 years. So you've got 10 years as a trucker to make your money, to get yourself set up, to go ahead, and you've got less time if you're a regular worker. Because if you've seen the polarization that has happened, what do we have? We have Uber drivers, we have Grubhub, we have DoorDash, Uber Eats. We have this proliferation of high labor, low paid jobs. And at the top, we have programmers in tech. And Uber, let's talk about Uber. Uber as a company was worth 74, $75 billion, and they only had 6,000 employees. Delta, a company that was worth 35, 40 billion, had like 100,000 employees. This is the direction that we're going in. You're gonna see mega companies have a smaller employee footprint. You're gonna see, and jobs about to get real dicey. So like I said, you got three to five years to get your act together because this thing is going to be, because one of the things that's gonna happen is it's gonna happen literally overnight. It's not gonna be a slow ramp up. It's just one day you're, you're gonna be working your job and then your company's gonna buy this AI package and automation package and once they get it installed, they're gonna like, you're gonna get that letter from HI, from home, from home. Uh, you're gonna get that letter from human resources that's gonna be like, hey John, um, we've doing a restructuring, your job's no longer needed, so you can ship your computer back, cause see, also part of this tech revolution is that many, many people are gonna work at home and you're gonna see the collapse of commercial real estate. Many of these companies, the big banks, Apple, Microsoft, Google, they're like, huh, we don't need all these people up in these offices, so we don't need this. All Apple has reduced its office footprint already. And Apple's got $200 billion cash in the bank, borrowed just like seven, eight billion more, and Apple has plenty of money. And Apple is already like, oh, this is the future. Apple is a tech company, so they know what's gonna happen, and Apple is reducing their physical footprint for the number of people they need. This is happening right now. And in the years that come, and you can watch this video, and you can ignore it, and you can just go like, well, Glenda's just talking. And then, you know, five years later, you, you wake up to go to work, and you get this email from Human Resources, and you've lost your job. This is going to be bananas. This is going to be crazy what is about to happen with automation and tech. The investments are massive and the returns like Google Duplex, if you know about Google Duplex, Google it and listen to it. And this is a piece of automation that can interpret voice gestures and respond appropriately. You know how long it takes a human being to do that? Roughly 
three to seven years to do the same thing that this, this software can do. And you, you're gonna see it crazy because the workplace is gonna become a casualty. You're gonna be highly technical. You're gonna be really skilled. You're gonna be set up. You're going to take advantage of tech. So I urge you to join me in becoming a part of the tech revolutionary, of the tech revolution. It's because the, there will be no, because like I know a lot, a lot of people like, well, I guess that the homeless people, the people who wanna live in van life, the people who wanna live off the grid, they will be able to weather this stone, the storm because they will be self-sufficient. So if you wanna live in a van or you wanna go get you a tiny house up in the mountains and live off solar power and grow your own food, and hunt for your own meat, that will be a way to weather this because that's it. Because if you're in the city, and also only rich people in the future will live in the cities. If, you don't, if you're living in the city, you're gonna be rich or homeless. That's gonna be the two choices. The middle class is being pushed out of the cities. They're being pushed further and further out. And even with that, this new economic environment, this new corporate environment is gonna look so different in five years than it does today. And I urge you to start a business so you can be an employer of tech versus a casualty of tech. Cause it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. So to start your journey, what I want you to do is go below and sign up for how to make money from scratch. What I'm gonna do is offer you a little discount in about four or five days, I'm gonna do a live webinar, how to retrain yourself to become a business owner, to think like a business owner, to start adapting the traits of a business owner because what's about to happen in the next five years is gonna be scary. It's systematically gonna change the human landscape. The global reset is real. And out of this, you can be a winner, you can become a tech-led millionaire, or you can stay out here in the badlands. Those are gonna be your choices. So the link's below. Go ahead and get into the course. There's a lot for you to get into already. And I will see you in the next video, which should be right about here.